Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Roblox not launching Windows 10. So this is gonna be a very easy one and hopefully this will actually solve your issues. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up the Iran application on your Windows. So just go to the bottom left of your screen, that's where the search bar is, and just type in RUN and you should be able to see the Iran application. So just click on it. And from here, you want to type in the following percentage local app data percentage and just click on OK. So once you have click on OK, the folder location that you'll see on my screen right now, this will actually pop up on your screen. So from here, you want to search for the Roblox folder. So just search for Roblox and here just right click on it and from here, just click on delete. So once you've deleted your Roblox folder, then the next thing that we want to do is we want to update our compatibility settings. So go ahead and minimize anything on your screen here and you want to look for the Roblox player application on your PC. So from here, just right click on it and from here, choose properties. Under properties, you want to go to compatibility. Under compatibility, you want to select or enable a few settings on your PC. So first setting that you want to enable here is the disable full screen optimizations and the run this program as administrator option. So once you've enabled this too, you want to enable the compatibility mode option here that says run this program and compatibility mode 4. So make sure that you added a check next to the checkbox there and you've selected Windows 7. So when you've, once you've done that, you want to click on the run this compatibility troubleshooter button there. And from here, let this detect issues on your PC. So once it finishes up loading up, just click on try recommended settings and just click on test the program. So it's going to ask further information or further permissions on actually accessing your game or your application here and let this load up. So once it's completed, just click on OK. Just click on next and from here just click on yes save the settings for this program so wait for this to finish up and from there you just need to click on the close button the apply button here and just click on ok next thing that we want to do here is we want to adjust the cookies on our google chrome or in our browser so for this example we are going going to use or just our google chrome here just open up your browser and from here, you want to click on the top right of your screen. That's where the tree dotted icon is. And from here, you want to go to settings. Under settings, you want to go to privacy and security. And under privacy and security, you want to go to site settings. Under site settings, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the option that says cookies and site data. In here, you want to scroll down a bit again and just click on see all site data and permissions. Under here, you want to click on the Roblox section here and you'll see the section that says remove Roblox that is the trash can icon here. So you just want to click on this and just click on clear and that would clear all of the site data and cookies on your browser here and that should probably solve your issues on Roblox. So if that doesn't solve your issue, we have another way for you to try. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to the bottom left again and to the search setting here. Just click on it and just type in the following, which is command prompt. So once you see command prompt application, you just right click on it and just click on run as administrator and enable or allow any further uh, asking of further access on your PC. So once you've done that, the thing that you want to type here is the following, which is ipconfig space slash DNS. So it is going to be the following that you want need to type ipconfig space slash flush DNS and just hit on enter. So it's going to say Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS server cache. So once you've tried this, the next thing that you want to do here is you want to try if there are any changes or you're now able to run your Roblox games. If that wasn't able to fix your issue, then we have to do or we have to check if the servers for Roblox is actually running. So here, let's go ahead and go to any browser and just type in status.roblox.com. 
and from here you just need to check if the service for roblox is actually up and running so if any of these ones is not operational then you just want to actually wait for the roblox status to be available to play your games Hopefully this video was able to help you and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.